Hey guys, Mason here. Today I'm going to have a look at my Spot Gen 4 Satellite GPS Messenger. Just want to uh, show you guys what I picked up this year after the trip. We'll go over some of the reasons why I did. And uh, I'm also interested to see if it's something that interests you or that you already run. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so this year on our trip, both Shooter Tech on the Triumph Tiger 900 Rally and Melon 1 on the CRF 250L both had GPS messengers. Now, uh, Shooter uses the inReach, which is attached to his Garmin. Um, Melon was fortunate enough to pick up a spot tracker with the keyboard on it. Um, So Melon's running this one, the Spot X with Bluetooth, two-way satellite messenger. He can type and send messages right from the machine. Shooters is similar to this one. It's just uh, an upgraded GPS on his. I forget the exact numbers, but um, it has the in-reach built into the Garmin GPS. I run a Garmin on my bike, but I wanted a separate um, GPS messenger service so I can carry it on my person. So I went with the Spot Gen 4, and there was a couple reasons. One is obviously, as you can see, the price point uh, significantly less than the rest. And don't forget, you also have to have a monthly membership to the service with these, so you have to add that into the price. Uh, you can do a monthly if you know when you're going, or you can just do a yearly, which is actually what all three of us have done. It just ends up a little bit less expensive in the long run and you would likely use it more because you're more inclined to send it with a friend that's going on a trip or take it yourself even if you're just going for a hike versus for a motorcycle ride you're just going to use it if you didn't have to activate it so we just blanket the year coverage and end um, the monthly fees aren't bad I'll let you guys dig into that because it depends on which one you get the in reach is different from the spot but anyway, let's look at what I picked up. So I grabbed, like I said, the Spot Gen 4 satellite GPS messenger. It does not have a keyboard on it, but it does have the ability to set messages um, and set who you want the messages to go to. So it's actually quite a very simple device. It's very small. You've got three buttons along the bottom. You've got your message, your check-in, and your start tracking. So when I go out on a ride, I power it up. It does its blinky thing, and then I just push the start tracking button. And it starts tracking when those are two, two are blinking. If I want to check in, I have it set up to message um, because I use this typically when I'm riding by myself, I have it sent to message Shooter Tech, Old Mason, and Mrs. Mason. So when I get where I'm going and I want to check in and my message says everything's okay, I'm at camp, I just push and hold this button and it sends that message to uh, email addresses or cell phones. This message is one that you can custom set. This one I have set to say, uh, I've been delayed, but I'm okay. I'll check in when I get where I'm going. And then this button here with the handshake allows you to set a different message. Uh, this is typically used when you don't need the SOS. You don't want GEOS to send um, uh, medical services to your position, but you need people to know that you actually need help. So this one is set with a little bit wider range for me. I have a couple guys on here that aren't necessarily part of the motorcycling crew, but I know could help get me out of a pinch. So when I push this button, it says I am, actually I should check that, hang on. Right, so this button is the help spot SOV, and what I have it set to say is I require assistance, but it's not life-threatening. Please send help to my location. And then of course, if uh, things really go sideways, then under this flap is the SOS button and uh, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to use it if I was in a life-threatening situation. Now, typically, I ride in a group. So this is actually something that I've really, really procrastinated on purchasing. It wasn't really high on my list. 
Um, but as I get a little bit older and I, you know, realize that I do ride a little bit more by myself, um, I think it's a really good idea. I always thought because I ride typically the same area up here locally when I'm out by myself that, you know, no matter what happens, someone could likely track me down and find me. Um, but that becomes a little bit more difficult when you actually stop and think about the amount of kilometers you can cover locally. And all of a sudden you're on your typical route and you see something that you want to explore and you head off down there and the guys just wouldn't find you. So I think it's likely a really good idea. Um, Mrs. Mason has always been fantastic with me not having to check in a lot as far as on the trips or anything goes. We run by the no news is good news mentality. Um, but even she's kind of excited to have the ability to open the map. When I share the link before a trip, she can open the map and actually see where I am. Um, that's kind of nice. It's comforting to me to know that she can see if I'm in a position sort of midday and I haven't moved in three or four hours, she would have a pretty good idea that something may be wrong. Um, the only thing with this versus Melon's uh, spot or shooters in reach is the fact that they both have the ability to send custom messages so they can actually say I have a flat tire I'm okay where I can just say I've been I've been delayed but I'm all right um, or whatever message you decide to put in there and then the check-in button is nice for at camp at the end of the day once we're where we're going and we're not heading out anymore I just push and hold that button and she gets a message that says I'm in camp everything's good um, I'll start tracking again when we get going in the morning. So she knows we're safe and, and everybody's good. The interesting thing about it that I found this year was I loaned it to a friend of mine on his uh, Triumph Tiger 800 and he went for a trip up north. And um, funny enough, even though he wasn't out of cell service, I was able to, to have a, a text message with him. But I saw he had stopped, he had stopped on the side of the Trans Canada and he had been there about two hours and I shot him a message and said I think something's up with the spot it doesn't seem to be tracking you because it's supposed to drop a pin every five minutes uh, and he said actually no it must be working I'm on the side of the road fixing a flat so if you were tracking someone actively it it's not perfect but the pins come in fairly regularly there's some gaps, but it certainly shows you when there's a long duration. If you, you know, a, a pretty good idea that someone's either broken down or, or maybe they're just in check sightseeing or checking something out, but it does give you the idea that something's not normal. They're not moving anymore. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things that I didn't want to spend the money on. It was pretty low on my list. And of course, you know, you feel a little bit invincible. Um, but as I get older, yeah, I think it is a good idea. So I will, you know, when I go on, one, it's set up. It's all set up. It takes a bit of work to go through and set everything up the way you want it. But once it's done, it's as simple as you don't even have to tell anybody. You just push the power button, push the tracking button, and head out on your ride. If something does go sideways, you can send a message saying, can someone please come give me a hand? You know, I need to be picked up, but I'm okay. Um, or you can actually phone for medical assistance. And uh, I just think having that peace of mind is, is, is quite nice. But I'm also intrigued to know what you guys think about it. Um, is it something you've considered? Is it something you use? Maybe to you, the one without the ability to actually send a message back and forth isn't worth it. Um, you have to remember, in my situation, when I'm on the trips, I'm riding with two guys that both have that ability. So they can actually send a message to to Mrs. Mason for me. Um, so this really for me is just local riding or if I did a weekend away by myself, she would still be able to kind of track me. Um, but let me know, let me know what your, what your take is on it. Um, I think it's a pretty nice rig. The price is certainly right. What did we say? It's 149 at Rocky Mountain. Um, and the inReach, because it comes with the Garmin GPS, is 449. I mean, it's not out of line for what it is, but typically we leave our GPS on the bike, so it's nice to have this on your person. So if you're away from the bike for whatever reason and require assistance, you have the device. Now, Melon had the Spot X <clears throat> um, satellite messenger with the keypad. It's very similar to this in function, but it gives you the ability to send a message, like I said. One of the downsides was he had it on his 
um, on a, in a holster under his motorcycle jacket on his chest. And uh, he took a rock up off either myself or Shooter Tech and it hit the screen and cracked it. Now he had the, uh, the, the device care plan on there and they sent him a new one, which is fine, but it happened fairly early in our trip. And so for the rest of the trip, he really couldn't see if he was sending a, a text. Um, you know, you, have, you sort of had to guess, you had to know the screen because the screen was technically useless. So that's something to bear in mind. You do have to take a little bit more care maybe with these two. This one hopefully is a bit more bulletproof. Having said that, they, they work amazing. There's also another one that links to your phone and you use your phone to send the messages. That's something else you could look into if that interests you. But for me, it was low price point, um, a little bit of safety and security, the ability to get a hold of Old Mason if I need someone to bring a truck and trailer and pick us up. Um, and then, like I said, for when I'm solo locally, uh, because as we all know, things happen. <laughs> and uh, sometimes when they do, we had a, I've had an instance where I was trapped under the KLR and there's no way I would have been able to get out from under it. I always thought that I would be able to, and I was just in a position where I couldn't move. Melon picked it off me. We had a drop on the trip this year and Shooter Tech went down on the Triumph and he ended up sort of face down across a, a big log and the triumph was on his ankle. So again, he wouldn't have been able to get out. And when we're in a group, it's not a problem. You know, Melon and I pick the bike off him, he gets out, everything's good, we have a couple laughs, carry on. But if you're on your own and you're in the bush, you don't even have to be that far away from home. And if something like that happened, it could be a very uncomfortable several hours before someone actually gets to you to give a lift. So it kind of opened my eyes a little bit and I think it's worth the money. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys say. Uh, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what one you run, if you run one and why. Um, and that's it. Thanks guys. A little bit of info there. Um, as always, mind how you go. Everyone ride safe if you're still riding. Uh, thank you very much for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons. Uh, couldn't do it without you guys. You know who you are. Um, and that's it for me. Bye for now. Hey guys, if you liked that video, hit the thumbs up button for us. It goes a long way towards helping out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button in the upper corner for new videos every Sunday. Be glad to have you along for the ride. Free.